Hey there, it's Olivia. If you're new here, you haven't already, please give that subscribe button some love and make sure you turn that little bell so you're notified when new videos go live. Just, you're gonna have to just deal with this. I'm like an eight year old. This flower headband, this braid, and this transformer shirt, this is just how I roll. We're trying HelloFresh for a week. I'm gonna just document what it's like. Um, my friend, our friend, Jess, love ya. Oh my god. She basically gifted us a week of HelloFresh. I hear about it all the time, wanted to try it, was never too keen on the price, so we'll see. We'll see if it's worth it and how it goes. We have, like I said, three meals here to feed two people. We're gonna make it feed our family. Came in this glorious, glorious little box. It's actually, it's not that, it's not that little. I mean, it's like, you know, it's a decent size. So we're gonna bust it open and I'm gonna show you what's inside and we're gonna do basically like an unboxing and review. Let's do this. All right, we're open. We're open. Chop it, zest it, roast it, serve it, love it, share it, awesome. See inside for exclusive offers. We'll deal with that later. All the nutritional info. So I'm assuming these are all the, okay, so this is just the nutrition info and these are the recipes. Okay, so we got like fish tacos basically, pesto turkey burgers, and buttered up steak. I think this is like insulation. It's still pretty cold. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, so each like thing comes in its own bag. Don't forget to check under the ice for extra cool ingredients. Will do. That's a heavy ice bag. Okay, so this is the tilapia. Awesome. And then we've got the steak. Oh, that is not gonna feed both of us. And the ground turkey. Oh, hello fresh, party fowl. Blood in the box. <laughs> okay. Um uh let's solve this problem. Okay. You're just gonna go in there for a minute. There's just some blood in there. No biggie. Okay. I was gonna ask Jim what he wanted, but I think we're gonna go buttered up steaks since uh, that thing was just just bleeding out. All right, here's the plan. I am just gonna lay out the ingredients for I think the you know like the first night, and that way you can kind of see like how they come prepackaged and everything, and then we'll just kind of give a review of like the different meals just to keep this video on the shorter end. So. Yeah, it's time to cook. Okay, so we have the buttered up steak card. It has all the ingredients and stuff that's supposed to come with it. I think the only thing it doesn't come with is like oil, salt and pepper, and butter, I think. But it has, you know, it's nice. Instructional, nice pretty photos. Cool ingredients. The wine to pair it with, we don't drink, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I have to wash. All the, I cannot do this with one hand. So it looks like I have to wash all the produce, start peeling potatoes and stuff. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh, come back. Okay, got our green beans. I can tell you right now, the way we eat, this is not enough. I might be making dinner for just Jim. Okay, there's garlic. Nice, there's the parsley and what is this? Mustard. Okay, and then just potatoes. I am gonna get to cooking and I will see you back here in, in a bit, okay? Yeah, just give, give me time. Looks absolutely nothing like the pictures, but blah, blah. I mean, it still looks good. Still looks good, definitely not as good as the pitcher, but we're about to eat it and see how it tastes. What did you think of the steak? Yeah. What are your thoughts so far? I'm still trying stuff. Um, yeah, it's good. Everything's really fresh. Tastes really good. The green beans are really crisp. Yeah, they are super crisp. I like. Oh my gosh, buttery steak. Triple thumbs up from us. Uh, as far as like the cooking went, honestly, the only thing that was really time consuming was peeling and chopping up the potatoes. That was like the most, yeah, I had to do all that. So the potatoes like came just in the bag. But um, other than that, I mean, it was pretty simple. It was pretty easy. Well, that's it for night one. We'll be back for night two. Day two. It's in your mustache. 
Is it good? So she's eating it taco salad style. So we both got three tortillas each. So the only thing with this one, like with the steak, the potatoes took forever. This one, cutting the mango, took forever. You didn't even get it as fine as they recommended. And I or... did not even get it as fine. They that's, wanted that's ma more on like your culinary skills. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was like, this mango is just like super slippery. How am I supposed to cut it matchbook thin? You like it better than the steak? I do. Oh man, oh man. That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I like lie. the steak, but I think I like this better. We will see you for day three. Turkey burgers, day three. Let's do this. Okay, so this this meal has a nice, you know, side of carrots. Um, why are we ditching the carrots, Jim? <laughs> can you just, can you stop? <laughs> this just isn't... We're not, we don't feel good about this. This, okay. this is weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's something about a carrot that can do this. I just Googled, what does it mean when your carrot is floppy? Yeah. It's like a pig's tail. Apparently Ooh. it's just not that great. I don't know, let, let me know in the comments, you guys. How do you feel about floppy carrots? Because I just don't trust yeah, them. I don't, I'm not, I'm not okay with it. <laughs> It's all done. We switched out the carrots for some, some you know, like Mom. regular sweet corn, but not popper. bad. Night three. Honestly, think this might be my favorite one. It's really good. It's really good. I, I like last night a lot, but I do like this too. Yeah. This one is probably the hardest one to eat because mm -hmm. <laughs> everything just slides around, but it is so tasty. The flavor is like, it's Sorry. like popping. You know, I don't, I don't really miss the carrots. I don't really miss the carrots that we never tried. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and eat this. We're gonna get ourselves together, assess the situation, and then I'm gonna give like my final, we'll give our final thoughts on it. All right, so we're done with HelloFresh. We took the time to kind of talk about it and we're not gonna continue with it, but here is what I think of HelloFresh. I think it's pretty go good, I think it's pretty good. You're basically paying for convenience, so it's kind of, to us at least it feels like kind of you're spending the same amount that you would be like going out to a restaurant maybe a little less but you know just kind of around that same area so if you have the money I think great go for it why not it gives you a taste of some new recipes everything is like you know already pre-cut up and everything for you or not pre-cut up but pre-packaged and you have all the measurements you don't have to grocery shop for it you get what I'm saying but if you're trying to budget, if you're trying to pinch pennies, if you don't mind, you know, having the ingredients so that you can make that same meal over and over and over, then I would say it's probably not for you. It's not for us. That's what we think of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just something where we had the opportunity, so I thought, why not? Like, everybody's, everybody's talking about HelloFresh, and a lot of people are sponsored by HelloFresh or has sponsored videos and this one was kind of just a here are my thoughts without sponsorship whatever just just so you know what we thought of it i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching i love you so much as always you keep saying simply awesome i'll keep saying simply ollie and i'll see you in the next video bye